Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my November favourites. I do these every single month and yeah, so I don't want this video to be too long so I'm just going to list everything that I mentioned in the description box down below if you are interested. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm so thankful for all the um, amazing comments I get from like the vlogs that I've been doing. Um, I am going to continue to vlog but I feel like I've just been pouring them out so much and I need to like um, have like a balance between vlogs and then just regular beauty fashion and things like that. Also if you haven't already you can follow me on Instagram which is up here and yes yeah, so I'm just going to get started with this video because I want to keep it under 10 minutes so let's see if we can do that. So the first two things I'm going to show you guys are pretty, they're not fashion, they're not beauty, they're not anything that I've really shown on my channel before but I feel like I have to put it in this favourites video because I have been obsessed with this month. So the first thing um, is these glaze wax melts and I have the barley, saddlewood and jasmine scent and it just looks like this, let me zoom up. So this is just how it looks, if I take it fall out but this is just how they look so they're just wax melts and I absolutely love these I am obsessed so you just put it on like the those wax burners and they just make the room smell so 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 good um, and these last a really long time before I was using I have quite a few different wax melts and they just don't seem to last as long I like my room to constantly be smelling amazing and so so most wax melts they usually smell nice for the first like few days and then after that they just don't you can't smell anything and then I have to constantly be changing them which means that I'm spending so much more money because I'm constantly have to, having to replace the wax but this I've had this burning for quite some time now just that one and it still makes my room smell so good I am absolutely obsessed with these so if you have, are having trouble or having the same trouble that I was having finding wax melts that actually last and um, like the scents last I would definitely recommend the Glade wax melts they smell so good I'm not sure about the other scents because I did read a couple of reviews on the other scents and some of them didn't have the most amazing reviews but this one Jesus it smells so 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 good like I wish you can smell it it just I actually I, I love this scent so much that I actually want it in a perfume like I would rock this as a perfume because it smells that good so I would definitely recommend these go check them out they're amazing I love them so the next kind of random thing is also kind of scent related and it and it is the Lenore Unstoppables um, scent boosters so my sister was raving about these and I was like okay I'm gonna try them they're quite expensive for what they are like they don't add anything to your washing other than a scent so they're essentially just like perfume for your clothes but um, so you still have to add your you know your detergent and your softener and then you put these in the washing machine before you put your clothes in this stuff smells so freaking good so I have the lavish and I bought it online when I was doing my online shop so I couldn't actually smell um, the different colors that they had so I just went with this one because I think the notes were but I think it was like vanilla caramel and something else so the notes sounded like something that I would want my clothes to smell like so I picked this up and it smells so so good so good and it makes my clothes literally like I will wash my clothes unless I don't wear them for a good like two weeks they still smell like this they smell so so good I definitely recommend them I just think they're quite expensive for what they are um but yeah definitely try the Lenore Unstoppables I know they had this in the US but I don't think it's called Lenore I think it's a it's a different I think it's the same brand but it's called something different but I've seen a lot of like ads and stuff on this so those are the two kind of random things that I've been loving loving this month um, so on to a perfume since we are sticking with lovely scents I have been really loving I've been constantly using the Jimmy Choo um, perfume and this is just the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo I think I've mentioned this quite a bit if you've watched my make not my makeup collection perfume collection which I will leave in the um, description box down below 
um, if you want to watch that i mentioned this. this is a very sexy scent it's very potent not everybody is going to like this scent some people i know some people love it and some people absolutely do not like it because it's just too strong people will smell you a mile away but i honestly don't mind it smells very amazing and very sexy and very it's more like an evening scent but i really don't care i wear it during the day and um yeah and it has notes of patchouli that's the only note that i know and i know most expensive perfumes and also a lot of perfumes that i personally like the scent of have patchouli in it so um as soon as i saw that one of the notes was patchouli i picked it up i didn't i didn't even smell it before but um it had patchouli and i just knew i would love it so it's a very sexy um night scent but i wear it during the day and i absolutely love it i have the 100 ml and this is the 3.3 am i reading that right fluid ounce this is just how the bottle looks it is really simple nothing too major but um, i've used quite a bit of it if you can see where it's at so i really really love this perfume so now onto beauty i don't have that much to show you guys i have four items and the first is um this blush from the balm and this is called cabana boy i kind of not stopped using it but actually that's a lie i stopped using it <laughs> um i don't know why i think i just had so many different other blushes that i really liked so i wasn't really gravitating towards this but this is an amazing amazing blush i'm wearing it today if you can tell um it's a very natural blush and it has shimmer in it i think yes but i don't particularly gravitate towards shimmer which is probably why i never really used to use it that much but i have been really loving it lately it's it goes with a lot of eye looks and um it's just a really nice everyday blush so this is just the packaging which is gorgeous and then this is the blush so as you can see it's just a very classic blush pink <laughs> Um, and it has slight shimmer in it but I really really do like this it really goes well with my skin tone um, I don't really see many people talk about this or maybe I have and I just haven't noticed but I really like this um, blush from the balm and sticking with the balm um, I feel like I've shown this quite a few times in my favorites videos but I feel like I have to show it again because I just I can't deal with how amazing it is and it is um, Cindy Luminizer which is a highlighter which is more of a pink tone um i absolutely love this i'm wearing it today if you can use i don't know if you can see that um but i absolutely love this it is an amazing amazing highlighter it goes so well with my skin tone and i'm not a pink highlighter person but this one is just the only exception so this is just how it looks up close so it's very pink based let me see if i can swatch it it looks like it would be quite ashy but honestly it is so that's not really a good swatch is it maybe i don't know it kind of looks ashy on my skin like as i've swatched it but on my actual like face it looks so 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 pretty i know i've mentioned this in my last couple um favorites but i really needed to include it because i feel like these two um and they're both the balm which is great um these two in combination are really really nice on my skin so yeah i've been really loving this in other products which you have heard me and seen me mention I feel like i've got lipstick on my teeth there we go another products that you probably um hear me mention a lot is the smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer i know i mentioned this so much on my channel but i really 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 love it i feel like um, I've been comparing it a lot to the Benefit Pore Minimize, no, what's it called? Pore Professional, that's what it's called. I've been comparing it a lot to the Benefit Pore Professional and this one is just way better. I actually, I don't think I would ever repurchase the Benefit um, Pore Professional just because it's good but I do see myself still getting oily whereas with this one I say matte and I have used the same foundation which is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 hour foundation which is like my everyday foundation and I've used that foundation with this and also use it with the pore professional and I get oily with that one but with this it's so good so this is just how you probably all have seen it so this is just the um full size it's I think it's around 28 pounds so it is quite expensive but you get a lot in the tube it's one fluid ounce but you only need a little bit and i just 
focus it on my t-zone so i've been really loving this if you have oily skin i would definitely choose the smashbox pore minimizing primer over the benefit professional and the next product is um a products that i get a lot of questions about and it is um what i'm always wearing on my lips whenever i wear this red lip i feel like i've, like I've got lipstick on my teeth not sure if this is shadow or <laughs> anyways no, what's i talking about okay so i get a lot of questions about what the red lip i'm always wearing and um i always wear a just any red not just a lie i always wear the um illamasqua sanger's lipstick which isn't in this favorite video even though i really love it but what makes the red pop is the nude sticks lip and cheek pencil and it is in the shade satan <laughs> so regardless of the name i really really love it it just makes it pop um many of you know that i don't really like glossy lips that much it's not my like go-to thing so um I like this because it's more like a cream um, and I really, really love it. I don't use it on my cheeks and I've used quite a bit of it. This is just how it looks, by the way. I feel like no one really talks about um, these nude sticks, but it's a bit messy. But yeah, this is just how it looks and um, it's just a classic red and it's super creamy, super moisturizing. The Illamasqua lipstick is a matte finish and sometimes it can be a bit drying but once I put this on top of it, it just makes it a bit more moisturizing and it just makes it a super bright, vivid red. And I just feel like red lips make dark skin just look A1. So I really, really love that. And last but not least, I have another product which I've mentioned in quite a few um, favorites videos before but I just wanted to mention it again because is definitely worth mentioning again and it is the l'oreal super liner perfect slim so this is a felt tip liner i feel like there's a shadow i don't know so yeah um this is a very very good eyeliner it i always face my um liquid eyeliners or felt tip liners facing down so that whenever I use it the ink is always at the tip but this is an amazing amazing eyeliner the tip is just I wouldn't say it's the finest tip I've ever seen but it's fine enough that I can do my wing and I always have to do a classic wing and this is just so good and it makes the eyeliner process so much quicker I've always used gel liner um because i just prefer how it looks and i just feel like it's a bit more opaque but this is just super quick if you're in a rush i would definitely recommend finding a liquid um is it called what is it called a felt tip liner yeah and i definitely recommend the l'oreal super liner perfect slim so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i spoke quite a bit more than i probably should have but um, yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, all the products mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. Um, thank you all so much for the love and the amazing comments and the DMs and all of that great stuff. I really do appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day. By the time this comes out, it might be Thanksgiving. It just depends, like in the US. So happy Thanksgiving to those of you who celebrate it. I wish we did in the UK, but we don't. Although we do have Black Friday, which I don't get, but that's a whole nother story but i hope you guys all have an amazing day and um i will see you guys in my next video